Hi folks, this is Jay. We're on part six of our series, ten part series on skepticism. I just want to talk about the definition of atheism and show you there's a massive problem and within the definition of atheism we see that atheism cannot be a credible contender as answering uh, the issues of our time or, or being the correct world view it's just an impossibility and I'm going to show you quite clearly from the typical atheist definition the typical atheist definition there are a number of definitions but if we take the sort of main definition that atheists like to use uh, that is atheism is a lack of belief in God due to a lack of evidence and a lot of atheists love that because for them it, it kind of just gets them off the hook about dealing with any issues of their own world view they said we, we haven't got any issues with our world view all it is is about we haven't got any evidence for the existence of God you show us the evidence and at the end of the day we will believe in in what you say on accord and in, in accordance with the evidence you present so the atheists love to take this kind of position that they don't have to provide any evidence but I'll just show you why atheism is not a credible worldview and is not even an option really it, and I say that with the deepest respect it, it is not an option and I've never felt it is an option but I'm just going to explain to you why in order for a worldview or a position to have any valid validity whatsoever it's got to answer what is there okay it's got to deal with what is there it's got to deal with reality okay now the reality is that there is a world right there's a world the reality is that there are human beings and there are animals and there is within that reality of the world and human beings and animals there is death there is happiness there is joy there are, there are relationships there are complexities within those rela relationships with anger and war and there are marriages and births and etc okay but there are things there on 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 uh, in reality now in order for a world view to have any validity whatsoever it has to answer the big questions of what reality is is there the nature of that reality it has to answer questions like what does it mean to have a relationship with someone what does it mean to bring up a child what does it mean death and how do we answer death what does it mean for why I am here and my purpose how do I relate to my environment how do I relate to the animal kingdom how do I relate to my fellow species it's got to answer these big big philosophical ethical and moral questions so skepticism is not a viable option because its definition is it is an absence it is a lack of belief in God due to an absence of evidence that's all that atheism is it's not a positive statement about atheism is building a positive lifestyle atheism answers certain questions because every atheist according to the atheist there are a number of a variety of atheisms so but atheism's definition by de its own definition is not a viable option as a worldview because it just completely ignores reality and does not even begin to give us a understanding of that reality now the atheist and the skeptic will come along and say yeah but we have evolutionary science and we we have all these scientific uh, developments and but that's not the issue the issue is as an atheist atheism is defined in a specific way and that specific definition of atheism does not have the ability within it 
to even begin to deal with reality what is there and so on that basis and that basis of alone atheism is just not a viable option Christianity as a worldview faces up to the key issues of what is there it tells us about creation it tells us that something cannot come from nothing which is logical it tells us about what it is to be human that we are to love it tells us what's wrong with humanity that humanity is fallen there is something noble about humanity but there is something significantly wrong with humanity it, it tells us all the key issues of life about why we are to have relationships and w how we are to have relationships love okay so unless atheism changes its definition so that it can encompass something that can be used to begin to deal with the reality of what is unless it changes at the present time it is not a viable option excuse me thank you